James Cone, you're one of the brilliant minds in this country, certainly on the issue of theology and faith and the black church. Let me just ask you whether or not you believe that fundamentally the black church has in fact become too political. Is the black church too political? Has the church gotten away from its primary mission? Thank you very much. I'm pleased to be here just like everybody else. And uh, I'm also pleased that you asked me a question about whether the black church is too political. Of course, it all depends on what you mean by politics and uh, in what way you mean that. Uh, I think one of the things that we, that the black church needs to ask itself is what is its mission? What is its mission? Um, I think one of the things that the black church has lost is a good understanding of its mission. Black church is good at preaching, good at singing, good at uh, a lot of things, but black church has not been as good as thinking about what its nature is and thinking about what its mission is. Is its mission primarily saving souls? Or is it saving bodies? Or is it both together? I think if you see them both together, I think you would have to see that the black church have to be political because politics is a part of life. It also has to be concerned about saving souls because uh, full meaning in life is not simply found in politics. So I would want to emphasize this particular point here is that if the black church has one problem that I think it needs to think about, it is the problem of whether it is called to save its own life or whether it's called to lose its life for the sake of others. I feel that the black church is concerned with saving its own life because it's so interested in the gospel of success. The gospel of Jesus is not a gospel of success. The gospel of Jesus is a gospel of ultimate success through failure. It's a gospel of ultimate success through obvious failure. That's why the cross is at the center of the gospel. The cross is not a gospel of success. Jesus did not succeed. He failed. But God took that failure and transformed that failure into success. Now, it's very important when you talk about ultimate success, it's not so obvious because the resurrection was not obvious. The tomb was empty, but yet nothing was there. I feel today with so much focus on building buildings and 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 all the other humongous things that we do that we fail to see that the cross is at the heart of what the black church ought to be about it was not very difficult for the black church to see that during the time in which it was born because being a slave church, that was not success. That, it was obvious failure there. Now, the
the problem, the problem is, is that the church has lost its legacy. It has lost its message. And when success becomes the focus of it, it loses its mission and it loses its message. I would like to see the church not be so concerned about its success but much more concerned about a, a kind of success through failure and where its failure is at the, is at the heart of faith. So I, I would, I would want to put my emphasis there. I, I'm concerned that the church doesn't get too concerned about its own survival. Because Jesus said, people who seek to save their life shall lose it. But if you lose your life for the sake of the least of these, then you'll find your life. All right. Y'all don't want none of this. Y'all ain't ready for this. Don't sleep on James Cone.